What is going on YouTube? Hayden back making another brand new crypto TV episode. In today's video, we need to cover XRP. And as you can see, we had this small little dip below our support, which is exactly what we were talking about yesterday. If you guys remember that it was a little bit too early for us to confirm whether or not this is a symmetrical triangle. I mean, it is asymmetrical triangle and we will see a break shortly but we only have two confirmations on the price ceiling as well as the bottom support and this ultimately means that it's not enough for us to confirm that that it's done like that this is where the point of breakout would be and now you can see this is pretty much confirmed it like we were closed below it yesterday here but we didn't continue to trend downwards and we probably aren't because we're still inside asymmetrical triangle we're just gonna have to tweak this bottom support right here to include it and that will ultimately allow us to find, hey, here's the higher lows or here's the uh, lower highs and the higher lows. And I'm excited because that ultimately gives us a solid support to now say, OK, now we have a much closer uh, top resistance and bottom support. I'll explain more um, in a second with you here, but we're also going to be looking at Solana which is doing exactly what we expected. And it almost looks like if we jump to like the four hour or the hourly, there may even be some sort of new technical indicator forming here. It's way too early to, to dive into something like this, but there very well could be some sort of newer indicator forming here. Again, way too early. Like I said, two points of confirmation is not solid. Three points is. So we'll see how this wants to pan out as there's a chance that this could cause an ultimate rebound off here on the four hour, which would be exciting. But again, uh, we'll also be looking at things on Ethereum and then even Bitcoin too, which are forming major bull flag formations leading to uh, a breakout that could come soon. The S&P 500 doing what it's always been doing. We had a major reversal, which is awesome here. We had this lower high, lower low movement here. We just broke broke out of it. Now we're starting to hit top resistance or getting close to it. And it's interesting because we're really close to hitting that top resistance, that all time high that we've set just a couple of weeks ago back in March here. So there's a chance we could reject. Uh, it almost looks like that might be that double top as we correct lower. As I've said before, markets are way oversold or overbought in this market here. And I'm a strong believer that correction is what's needed fairly soon. So we'll see what exactly is going to happen here. But regardless of how we look at this, I'm excited to go over everything with you today. Uh, definitely make sure to smash that like button, turn on post notifications, subscribe, and let's jump right into today's video. So guys, get prepared for the new breakout that's going to be coming soon within the markets here. As you guys know, they having already happened. Lots of cryptocurrencies are priming themselves at the lowest price they've ever been in a long time. And you can take advantage of that by getting some free cryptocurrency on BidFi here. My favorite cryptocurrency exchange, BidFi is giving away over $350 to new user signups as well as deposit rewards. You could literally deposit crypto, get $300 and then withdraw it out of the exchange and you're good to go, which is what I like to do in the beginning of crypto. I would find all the exchanges that were offering bonuses, deposit money, get my free crypto and then withdraw it out. And I'd be able to pretty much, you'd be surprised how many exchanges offer bonuses incentives that you can capitalize on by getting this cryptocurrency too, which is super cool. So make sure to check out BidFi down in the description below ASAP. Sign up and get your free rewards uh, super uh, super quick as that bonus is going away in a, just a couple of weeks here. I think two more weeks left. Anywho, diving into today's video, I made a video yesterday here talking about how we're going higher within the stock market. You can see the major bull flag for me or the descending fractal forming a breakout. And there's a good chance we could head up higher here, but we need to go over everything more in depth. You can see on the current coin market cap right now, we are seeing more consolidation, more cryptos are breaking lower here. 51 on the fear and greed. I mean, it's nuts. Just in March, we were extremely overbought, ex trading at like 90 something on the relative strength indicator. Here we are back at 50. So things look crazy good. And honestly, this consolidation does screen that this probably is one of the lower prices that we've seen in a very long time. And there's a good chance we are going to see reversal rally back up after that and head back to the upside after that soon, which is absolutely, it, it, it's, it's mind blowing if you ask me here. The fact that we are at the lowest points, we've seen this and I've seen it multiple times within just the past couple of years and the seven years I've been in the market here. I've seen three uh, halvings occur. We don't see an um, immediate breakout right after the halving happens. It takes a couple of months, but we do see the markets kind of level off. Then we start to see lots of institutional money come into the markets. Then we start to see, you know, once we start to dabble a little bit higher as we near all time high yet again, markets, uh, you know, the news and all these mainstream media start to pick up on the rally and we start to see prices pretty much take off. And it usually happens very quickly because people don't want to miss out on the next opportunity to make a lot of money with crypto. So these are kind of like your last licks 
weeks, your last chances to capitalize markets is on sale right now. And this means this is one of your last times to be getting in at such low prices here to stack up on your coin before you see Bitcoin head to 100 grand. Now you can see diving into these and looking at the technical analysis, XRP is due for a break soon. And we have to tweak this chart to include the bottom support that we're retesting. I think we're going to be reversing off this quite nicely, although it's very possible that we could be seeing some lower movements happen in the near future. And that's all right. It's very, it's very possible we could see us head a little bit lower here. But ideally, this might be a new pattern that we're looking at here. We're still looking for a top resistance. That hasn't confirmed itself ju just yet. But if this is true, then we have confirmed a third bottom support, which is exciting because now we have a solid uptrend to use to basically, uh, you know, capitalize on when that breakout is going to be. Now, we don't have one on the top yet, and there's a chance that we could see a pull up to here, and then we're going to have to tweak the chart ever so slightly again to include that. But for the time being, we have three supports, and we have two resistances, which is definitely solid and makes it a lot easier for us to know when exactly that breakout is going to be. And if things start to fill in, we'd be able to know that by the end of the month, we would have that breakout opportunity here, especially since it's forming some sort of descending breakout. Like, we fell into this year. Now we're starting starting to fill in the gap. And at some point or another, we're going to have to make a decision. And ideally, we do want it to be bullish. And I do think it will be bullish because markets are oversold. I mean, everything is primed and ready. 50 on the fear and greed index screams breakout is going to come. We have, uh, where is it? XRP here. We're filling in the gap. And as you can see, when that breakout does come, we have the room now to head up even higher. So that's what we're looking for here. And this rebound should actually happen as we should be breaking bullish or rebounding, hopefully, off the MACD to help pull us even higher. And that continues even further. We were talking about it earlier today with Solana here. Um, and I want to talk about that in a second. But super quick, BidFi is the number one cryptocurrency leveraging exchange that I like to use. And when we do decide to make a trade or something like that, I'm going to check out BidFi uh, to leverage because they offer long, short opportunities, you, can, uh, you know, create stop losses, market orders, so on and so forth here. They even have, where is it, a demo trading account, and then they have uh, welcome reward bonuses of over $2,000 in free cryptocurrency by signing up with that link down in the description below. Anywho, jumping back into Solana here, you can see within the symmetrical triangle, within this filling in the gap here, whether or not this is that accurate, the main focal point is on the daily charts. And the fact is we broke out of a major bull flag, one that has taken quite a long time to consolidate. It started in March and it ended in May. So two months of this consolidation, we finally broke out of it. And here we are starting our ascent to the upside. And like I said, and I will continue to say, we are on an uptrend that has started literally since like November of 2023. And we've been using this yellow band as a means of bullish support for a very long time. And we did break through it just a little bit a couple of days ago here, but we are back above it as expected. We do have the moving average as the support and the price floor. So markets are going to continue to head up within Solana. Everything looks primed and ready. Markets are consolidated. There's a neutral on the fear and greed index. That means there is plenty of room for markets to pump even higher than where we currently are. It's just going to take a bit. It's going to take a while. Short term, though, we can pay closer attention to this four hour chart here and see how exactly we are going to move off that. Ideally, I would expect to see a little run like this as we complete, as we did just bottom off moving average and we will swing to the upside here. And I'm going to be playing around. I am playing around with a new copy trade website called Fairdesk. So definitely make sure to check them out as well. Their link is in the description down below. And there's a good chance I might even, if I can figure it out, buy in on here. And we're going to rally it up to here on Solana here, as that's where I expect to see prices swing up to. Uh, and I'll check that out later today. So make sure to head on over to Fairdesk, type in Crypto TV, or use a link down in the description below to sign up for Fairdesk 2, uh, which is super cool. And then Ethereum here, you can see uh, as the video is getting a bit longer here, beautiful lower high, lower low movement. You can see that we're getting very close to completing this here. And at some point, we are going to be breaking. Yes, we are teeter-tottering inside of this. And that is all right. As we near a bottom, which could easily look something like this, could easily move this down like this, move this in the middle here. We will expect to see a fifth retest. Once we hit bottom here, there's a good chance we will be rebounding out, breaking through this major bull flag and scaling to the upside even higher. Same thing applies itself with Bitcoin. As we fill in this gap, we will be rebounding off bottom support. And I do expect to see a break above this resistance that will send us soaring with a lot of these cryptos. Same thing goes with S&P. The S&P is a bit weirder, though, as we are consolidating. Uh, there's a good chance we could easily double top. That's a very big possibility here, but I, I think these markets, the stock market is way too kind of overbought too quickly here. Like we just really are sending shocks, shock waves through the market. So we need to kind of flatline out a bit because recently it's been crazy. It's been way too quickly up, way too quickly down. It's not, it hasn't been consolidation. I mean, check this out. If I jump to the weekly charts here to give you an example, we were on a long streak from like 
2016 to 2020, it was just consolidation here. Now you can see major shockwave up, major shockwave down, major shockwave up. It is, it's, it's frightening. From 2016 to here, I mean, it is a big percent. This is, well, this is only 60, 60%. This is 60. Then we take the major shockwave that we had now, and this is 123. Then we fall uh, 30%, and then we're back up again 52%. I mean, it's absurd. What happened from 2016 to 2020 or 2018, four years of consolidation took just a couple of months now. So things are a bit wonky and we need to kind of start to consolidate more, get more in a, in a just a cool, chilled economy and just relax a little bit, if that makes sense. But with that all being said, definitely make sure to smash the like button, turn on post notifications, subscribe, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace. <laughs>